Okay, talking about the nomenclature related to the cylinder head and the combustion chamber. One, we have the spark plug relief hole here for installing the spark plug so that it uh, assists in the combustion process in the direction of which way the flame front travels in the cylinder, cylinder head. We have an integral seat which is part of the cast material of the cylinder head. The area below that cast seat is typically called the as cast area. Around the valve is what we call valve masking which determines the shape and the flow characteristics for this particular cylinder head. There's a couple different methods of repair for an integral guide like this one. If it's beyond specifications it can, go, it can be oversized and an insert can be installed directly into that in the appropriate position. That replaces the once integral guide that's in the cylinder head. Another process that can be done is what's called a thin wall bronze insert. It still needs to be machined out. The bronze insert needs to be installed and then it needs to be interference fit directly into the cylinder head to retain its position during operation. The cylinder head that we're looking at here has an integral uh, valve guide. Okay, we're going to talk about the internal combustion engine valve. The valve itself has some related nomenclature and terms for understanding prior to doing service work. Number one, we have the overall poppet valve or mushroom type valve. This is called the stem area and this is where it rides in the guide and maintains or helps assist in maintaining concentricity. On the very end here we have the relief area which acts with clearance volume in establishing the compression ratio of the engine. It also promotes swirling and thermodynamics to assist in burning the fuel and getting the right power uh, produced from the engine. This is called our valve face. This portion right here is what we call the valve margin as it gets highlighted in black. Manufacturers require a certain margin so that it still has enough girth left to the valve to absorb heat and dissipate it out through the valve seat area. This is what they call the valve face seat area. In the cylinder head it's called the valve seat, the mating surface. On the end of the valve we have our, our tip and then we have what at the very top which is called our chamfer. That assists in preventing uh, chipping of the top of the valve from the rocker arm movement on it as well as ease of installation of the valve seal. The next thing we have right here is what's called the keeper relief, this area in here. That's where the keeper actually locks into to maintain the assembly together when it's put back into the engine. So we would have the valve in the head, we would have any appropriate shims below it, we would have the valve guide, the valve seal, the valve spring on the outside, the valve rotator coming up to this point or retainer, the keepers that keep the retainer and retains the assembly together, and then once it's put together it's known as a valve assembly.